Hi all, welcome to part 2 of how to use the Dikidata website uh, for Microsoft ESD. So as you will have watched in the video beforehand, um, we will have placed the order on Microsoft and um, we're just waiting for the license to come back. So as you can see, um, if you're navigating the website, up here is Manage. Uh, if we click on that, it will give us uh, it will take us basically with, into a little portal um, for things like renewals, subscriptions, uh, and under Perpetual you'll find ESD. So obviously you can see here that we've been uh, doing a number of trial license orders and things to make sure it's all nice and perfect for you guys. Um, if we scroll down, uh, the order I did before him is this one here for test training for Josh Tahira. So you can see the price should match up. If we click on manage for that license, what you'll see is uh, this portal page here. So you can see that here, yeah, that's the, the product we ordered, um, the quantity, uh, the end user information, and this is again where that information translates to from when you're putting it into that order. If you don't fill it in, you don't fill it in. It will just mean it will be really hard to track um, potential orders. Um, we recommend that you're putting, you put that in there. Uh, it would just make your life much easier in the long run. Now, what you want to do is you can see uh, it says finished, so this means this license has come back. If it said anything else, like ESD waiting for fulfillment, um, you'll still be waiting for that license to come back. If you are waiting for it, I recommend, um, and you've waited longer than say 20 minutes, I recommend you give the guys a call on 0800 DD sales um, and just say, hey look, you've placed this order. Um, and they'll, they'll have a look and see if there's, there's an issue with it. Uh, what you want to do is you want to click on this thing here, include product key status, um, and you want to go download ESD information. Now by downloading this ESD information, what you're going to be doing is, is opening an Excel spreadsheet. One second. There we go. Just open that up for you all. And so what you'll find is that um, you've basically got this in a nice setup. It will say yep, the order number, um, order dates, etc., etc., um, products ordered, quantity. This link here will take you to the website to redeem your token. Um, so this is where you'd get your token um, number from, and this is also the status of that token. So if the token says activated, um, it's not actually activated on Microsoft. Uh, all it means is that it's, I suppose it's more active and you are able to redeem it. If that status changed, and um, I think it's the other options are redeemed and uh, deactivated. Deactivated means it's been uh, returned or um, it's ineligible to be uh, used. And the redeemed basically means that someone has already gone online and redeemed that, that token. Um, so in this case, um, in the next video, we'll be showing you how to go through the Microsoft step, uh, and then we'll come back and have a look, and that will say that that is now redeemed. Cool, and that's pretty much it. You can you can copy and paste all this information uh, and send it directly onto your customer. Um, nice and simple, and that's how to redeem your uh, ESD information for the, the order. Cool. Um, if you've got any questions, uh, by all means, give us a call. Drop us an email, um, 0800 DD Sales, as it says here, or um, send an email to sales at decadata.co.nz, and the guys will be more than willing to help you through these steps. Uh, and again, if you're having some issues and you just want to send an order to us to place it on your behalf, we can easily do that and have the order back to you pretty quickly. Um, just remember that if you're going to ask us to order it for you, um, that you post those orders between uh, normal business hours. Um, outside of that, um, we recommend that you watch this video and you give it a go online. Cool? Uh, thanks, guys.